Hey everyone, Kevin here from River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do complex 3D camera tracking using the new built-in 3D camera tracker in After Effects CS6. So, let's get started. Alright, so here in After Effects, the first thing we're going to do is create a new composition by going to Composition, New Composition. I'm going to make mine 1280 by 720 pixels and click OK. I'm going to go over to my project window, double click inside of it, and search for my clip that I'm going to be using today. So once I have that imported, I'll just drag it down to my timeline, and then I can scrub through this. Now what we're going to be doing today is basically tracking some text onto this building here. In this clip that I have, I'm sure some of you have seen it before, um, on my trip to L.A., just took a screenshot of the highway from a taxi. So what we're going to be doing today is creating a 3D camera track. Basically what we're going to do is create um, a 3D environment for our elements to sit inside of. So it's going to track different points on our footage and it's going to create a 3D world that we can stick things that aren't already in there into it and they're going to act and react and change perspective um, as if they were looking through the same camera as our clip. Now that's kind of a lot to handle, kind of a lot to process in thinking about it, so as we get further into the tutorial, that's going to make a little bit more sense. So what we're going to do is start by cutting down some of our clip. So I'm just going to take off some of this beginning part, and since we're going to be tracking text to this building, I'm just going to cut off anything past where we can actually see that. Now the reason you want to do this is because, um, one, it takes less time to track a clip that's shorter, and two, um, After Effects makes less mistakes when it has less work to do. Um, so you want to give After Effects the best chance of giving you an accurate track as possible. So once I've trimmed that, I'm just going to put it at the beginning. And so now in order to actually track this, we're going to go over to our Effects and Presets panel, search 3D, and down here we'll see Perspective 3D Camera Tracker. Now you can also click on your clip, go to Effects, and you can find this under Perspective 3D Camera Tracker. Now before we go any further, I just want to specify this is an After Effects CS6 specific tutorial. Um, you won't find the 3D Camera Tracker in anything less than CS6 because this is a new feature for that version. So I'm just going to click on this in order to add it to my clip. It's going to start analyzing in background. It'll have this bar across your clip. Um, and what you're going to be looking for is over in your effects controls, it'll have the percentage and the amount of frames that um, it's already gone through. So depending on how uh, much processing power your computer has, how long the clip is that you're actually tracking, will depend on how long this is going to take. So you can see we're already at 75 um, basically percent there so this is going pretty quick. Now what it's doing right now is it's basically going through and looking for different points in the footage and then it's going to the next frame and looking for that same point and it's seeing how they change over time. So what you can see here is it's put a whole bunch of different multicolored little plus signs all over our stuff and these are track points and we can turn up the size here by adjusting that in our settings. Now you also have some other settings like shot type which basically is zoom or fixed angle. Um, we have fixed angle so I'm just going to leave it there. I'm um, going to show your track points as 3D solved or 2D. Um, be careful when you're clicking around here because if you click off you might have to retrack your footage. So I'm just going to take and zoom in here and what each of these points are are basically um, a spot that After Effects is deemed possibly um, something that's going to be easy to track over time. So if you've seen my other motion tracking tutorial, um, basically what you do when you're using the point tracker, which was the used to be the only um, tracking native to After Effects um, besides using Mocha, um, was basically you'd find a point of high contrast, like say this tree. Say that we wanted to track this tree. So we'd put a point there and then we'd go um, and click basically track and it would go to the next frame and it would look for the tree and it would find the tree. Go to the next frame, it would find the tree. Um, but the problem came whenever the tree was gone. Um, and then you'd have to kind of try and fit tracks together. Now a 3D camera tracker, especially when you're using a 3D environment, um, is very helpful for eliminating any of those problems because it, when one point disappears, you have a hundred other points there to um, for After Effects to actually use. So what you want to do is look through here and we're looking to create a plane that looks like it's on our wall here. So we're just going to scan through here and you just want to move your mouse around until you can find a plane which is this circle 
kind of bullseye that actually looks like it's sitting on the wall. So now you want to make sure and take your time with this um, so that you don't get a crappy plane. And so this one looks pretty good. Um, basically it looks like the bullseye is kind of sitting on that wall. Now we probably could find a better example, but for the purposes of this tutorial that'll probably work. So I'm just going to click, then I'm going to right click in the center of that and it's going to bring up a lot of options. Create texting camera, create soliding camera, create nulling camera, and create shadow catcher camera and light. There's all kinds of different options. You can use nulling camera if you want to be able to parent things to a null, but I'm just going to click on create text and camera since we're actually going to be using text. So I'm just gonna click that. It's going to throw some text on there so we can see that right here. Now basically if we scan through this, you can see that that text is in our 3D environment. Now obviously it's not on that wall um, the way that we want it, but it's getting there. So. What we can do is select that text and just scale it down to start. We'll zoom in here, move that over, get it right where we want it. Now that obviously needs to be rotated around, but you can see that now it's tracking to that building pretty well. So you might have to adjust it, you might have to manually keyframe a couple of things in order to get it just perfect. Um, but I mean right out of the box that's pretty good um, for camera tracking within After Effects. Um, again, if you want, if for some reason it's moving around a little bit more than you planned, um, which it seemed like it might have been doing a little bit, um, you can always go back, retrack it, and select a different plane um, because selecting the correct plane uh, is very important when doing this. So I'm just going to click on my text layer, hit R, and now I can take and rotate this around little bit so now we can get that kind of looking like it's in the right area there so when you zoom out just make sure your text looks like it's kind of on that building so then as you track forward you can see that the text stays on the building now it is moving around a little bit you can see that it moves forward you can take and go into your camera tracking data um, if you you can adjust position and orientation keyframes if you need to you can manually keyframe that for wherever it gets off um, but Honestly, picking a better plane would probably fix that um, pretty quickly. So you can see that um, you want to make sure that you probably add in some shadows or something so that it looks a little bit cleaner um, as if it was actually in that environment. If the tree would be kind of covering that up um, later on here, so you'd want to kind of rotoscope around that if you could by just creating a mask on there. And basically just little tweaks like that. In my actual preview that I showed you earlier in the um, very intro of this video, um, I had thrown on some 3D stuff to that text um, that I've shown you in a couple of previous tutorials actually doing 3D text extrusion. Um, so you can get pretty fancy with it and creating some lights and all kinds of stuff to actually make the stuff look like it's in that environment. Um, but I was pretty impressed with this 3D camera tracker that's just right out of the box of After Effects um, because there's a lot of more expensive options out there like Buju, um and those are pretty expensive so um, just having something like this even if you do have to tweak it as you can see it's still moving just a little bit um, more than it probably should be um, I think it's still a really good um, effect so again selecting the right plane is pretty important so um, if I was trying to get this to a professional state I'd probably go back retrack it and select a plane and probably spend a couple minutes actually looking for a plane that's exactly on that face so um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys can use this in your videos. Um, this is definitely really good for if you're moving a camera around so you don't have to have a static tripod camera shot in order to actually track it. So I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. And uh, I'll see you next week with a new video tutorial. Thanks for watching.